Am I late? Not at all. Go and talk with people. I'll take care of things. People come together. Time to start the service. Kiki, where are you going? If you must know. I'm just here for the food. These services have no magic oomph in them for me. I'll be over with Dan, preparing the picnic. What? Dan, you're not attending. But after all your work... I cannot stand more than five minutes of formal ritual. My eyes just glaze over. Food has to be prepared, things to do. Enjoy the service, Peter. See you soon. Dan. I forgot the sacrifice. Find me something quick. Right. Form a line on the trail, folks. We're starting in three minutes. Where should I stand? On your feet. Anywhere's fine. Here's your lines. What? I have lines? I've got my part memorized, of course. Using paper is beneath a druid. In fact, Caesar wrote that. Good, good. Craig, you'll do the processional hymn as planned? Yes. Thank you. Join me, young student. Stand by me in line. Okay. Here is the sacrifice. Oak leaves with acorns. Meat. Water and chalice are on the table. Thanks, Van. You're a lifesaver. I am prepared and settled. Are we ready? Just about. Sarah? Could you play the preceptor role today? Thomas was up all night on the choreography and didn't learn his lines, again. Do you know them? Yes, I'm fine with that part too. This is it then? Our last time? Let's get started. Okay, folks. Silence your electronic devices. Line up. Then, cue up the music. Places, everyone. Places. Greetings, everyone. Thank you for coming to our celebration of the beginning of the harvest season for the great festival of Lunasa. Let us pray. O oh Lord, forgive us these three errors that are due to our human limitations. Thou art everywhere, but we worship thee here. Thou art without form, but we worship thee in these forms. Thou hast no needs of prayers and sacrifices, yet we offer thee these prayers and sacrifices. O Lord, forgive these three errors that are due to our human limitations. O Mother, cleanse our minds and hearts and prepare us for meditation. Let us make a procession joyfully to the grove with a song for the god, Lu. Winds 
sunset whispers through the graceful elm, through the shapely Craig, please take the north. Wanda south. Thomas east. Peter west. The druid sigil is drawn. My lady, please step in. I am the wind which breathes upon the sea. I am the wave of the ocean. I am the murmur of the willows. I am the ox of the seven combats. I am the vulture upon the rocks. I am a beam of sunlight. I am the fairest of plants. I am a wild boar in valor. I am a salmon in the water. I am a lake in the plain. I am a word of knowledge. I am the point of the lance of battle. I am the goddess who created in her head the fire. Who is it who throws light into the meeting on the mountain? Who announces the ages of the moon? Who teaches the place where couches the sun? If not I... If not we? Craig. Would you announce the liturgical dance piece? Hmm. Don't see dance in the Methodist church very often. The following item for the God's pleasure is an interpretive dance by Thomas and Zoe to praise and sustain the fertility of the land, replicating the passage of the four seasons and symbolizing the struggle for sovereignty of ancient Britain through a former great warrior queen. It will be performed in accompaniment of an Irish jig, a type of music which... Craig, what did you say that their title was again? Aham. Uh -huh. Let's boogie like boudica, to our booty go boom boom. <laughs>
my lady. Here is the sacrifice. Thank you, my dear, and thanks to our sacrifice. Our praise has mounted up to the on the wings of eagles. Our voices have been carried up to the on the shoulders of the winds. Here now, we pray thee, our mother, as we offer up this sacrifice of life. Check your lines everyone. For the sun has come to warm us. See how we are warm. The newborn plants. The worthy tasks. The thoughts of Lou have we nurtured. See how they have come to fruition. We have praised the mother with the work of our hands. Um. We have reached Baal with the work of our hands. The abundance we have found, it will sustain us. A great bounty is before us. The flowers of the earth, the fruit of the earth we can offer you freely. They are thy beautiful children, who will see us through cold and darkness. We know you are drawing away from us. But first, please partake of the comforts you have brought us. We rejoice today. Accept our praise and sacrifice. We pray thee, and cleanse our minds, and hearts, granting us thy peace and life. North, South, East and West, folks. Hast thou accepted our sacrifice? O oh, our mother? I call upon the spirit of the North to give answer. I see and hear the rustling of the trees. I call upon the spirit of the South to give answer. I see a lovely cloud sailing across the sky. I call upon the spirit of the East to give answer. I call upon the spirit of the West to give answer. I don't see anything special. That means the sacrifice has been rejected. Three out of four ain't bad. It's Peter's first time. Do it again, Pete. Try harder. I call upon the spirit of the West to give answer. <laughs> There's definitely some wind coming from your direction. Our sacrifice dedication to the fertility and renewal of life has been accepted. Praise be. Our sacrifice for the cleansing of our minds and hearts has indeed been accepted. I have the honey meat and water. Of what does the earth mother give? that we may know the continual flow and renewal of life? The waters of life. 
From whence do these waters flow? From the bosom of the Earth Mother, the ever-changing All-Mother. Has the Earth Mother given forth of her bounty? She has, and her bounty is overflowing. Then give me the waters. O oh, inspiration of Baal, O oh, manifestation through Lu, O oh, sacrifice of Gaia, come and meet in our festival cups, today. And hallow these waters by the three ways of day and one of night. Bring to them the purity by thy sevenfold powers. O day long at long do. Are there any among us who wish to partake of the waters of life? We have two new aspirants today. This is good. Do you both believe in the two basic tenets of Reformed Druidism? I do believe them. I do believe them. Then, kneel. Please. Peter Smith. I draw the sigil on your forehead. And ordain you into the First Order. The Waters of Life. Wanda Wanabe. I draw the Druid Sigil on your forehead. And ordain you into the First Order. The Waters of Life. The Waters of Life. The waters of Life. To thee we return this portion of thy bounty. O oh, our Mother. Even as we must return to thee. Let us relax a bit and hear two meditations. The first meditation was selected by Thomas, with illustrations by Wanda, taken from the Kekchi Indians of Guatemala. Thou, O oh God my Lord, Thou my mother, Thou my father, Thou Lord of hill and valley. Now, after three suns, after three days, shall I begin to gather my maize before thy mouth, before thy face. A little of thy food and drink give I to thee. It is almost nothing, that which I give to thee. But I have plenty and good of my own food and drink. Thou hast revealed it to my soul and to my life. Thou my mother, thou my father. I begin therefore the harvest, but I am not this day ready for the harvest, without thy word, and without thy countenance. Who knows how many suns, how many days I reap? It is no quick matter to harvest from among the weeds. I can only complete it slowly. Who knows till when I can speak to thee? Thou my mother, thou my father. Thou celestial one, lord of hills and valleys. I will again speak to thee. Were for not, my God. No gift is guaranteed. A gift once in doubt, it is twice appreciated. And when accepted in thanks, it is thrice appreciated. Wanda, those pictures were truly beautiful. The girl looks just like Sarah. Yes, they are uncannily realistic. Jody, I'd like to offer them to the sacred fire. Please do.
The second reading was selected by Sarah. Adapted from the Druid Chronicles. Book of Meditations. Chapter the Seventh. For what reason is it, that ye sit here under the oak? Why is it that ye have come out together under the summer sky? Have ye come that ye might not be alone? If so, it is good. But verily I say unto you, Many there are who have come together, yet remain alone. Do ye sit in the open that ye might come to know nature? If so, it is good. But verily I say unto you, Many there are who have sat for hours, and have risen up knowing less than when they sat down. Rather, in your coming together, Seek to know in what way he may help him who is next to you, and strive to act justly toward him. And in your sitting down in the fields of the earth, Mother, open your minds as well as your eyes. Let your meditation grow and branch out as the oak, which is over your head. Except that ye have done these things, your sitting is in vain and coming is futility. And why is it that ye do stand up before others and speak unto them? Do ye teach unto them the ways of the ancient druids? If so, it is good. For they had their wisdom, and that is oft forgot. But verily I say unto you, in their day, even they also were young in their traditions. The wise man is not constrained to learn only that which he is taught. Yea, even as there is a time for talking, is there also a time for no talking? In the silence of your being shall ye find that which is not of your being, and in the earth mother shall ye find, that which is not of the earth mother. In be all shall ye be made aware, and your awareness shall fill you. Ye shall be like the morning sun which has risen and whose brightness is already full, but whose path is yet ever upward. And the light of your awareness shall sweep before it, all the shadows of your uncertainty. Then shall ye need wait no more, for this is the great end, and all else is but beginning. Working together we are whole of heart. When we think only of ourselves, there are holes in our heart. Go forth into the world, secure in the knowledge that our sacrifice has found acceptance in the Earth Mother's sight, and also our rejoicing. And go forth to feast with your brethren and sisters, evil into excess, be merry, for soon all shall sleep. I leave the Sigel, even as we must all leave this world. Peace. 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 Let us now go.
Turning our eyes from the meadows and groves Still live in the love of the lords and the ladies Whose mysteries we know yet will never know why Around and around and around turn the good earth. All things must change as the seasons go by. We are the children of the Lord and the ladies who must trees we know. Yet we'll never know why. That sure ran long. So Peter, what did you think about it? It was so strange. I still feel jittery. Yeah, it's like that the first time. Welcome officially to the reformed druids for whatever that's worth. Try to remember this day, because there might not be many more of these services. Why not? Jody was the last one in Jack Pine Grove who was dedicated to the older Druid liturgical format. Things will change soon. Perhaps not for the better. Come, more work to do. Let's pick up the chalices and extinguish the sacred fire properly. And start another for cooking. Zoe, I'm telling you. Let me set you up with Jorgen. He's a fine true heathen. He'd be a perfect match for you. He's tall, blonde, strong, um... A man of few words. Oh, not him still. Goddess. I saw you staring at his butt the whole service. You get so desperate you can fast someone ever summer. Slow down. Did you notice? He didn't clap even once after your dance. So what? For all I care, he can't speak Martian fluently. There's one thing you gotta learn about men, it's not what words they say, it's how they say them. Wake up and listen to him. You can do so much better. Don't get me started on Peter either. What? Destiny. Oh, come on. Hush. They were coming over here. Stop slouching. The service is done, thank you. Congratulations. That was lovely. Thank you. For one moment, I felt the unity of the grove and will treasure it. But I am dreading the next part. The election. Time for that later. Dan and Kiki have finished, food's going fast. Let's eat, drink and be merry.